my favorite topic, which is um, what China calls the Porsche rice. Well, yeah, that's the quote these days, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. It's bao shi mi because bao shi in uh, in Chinese is Porsche, right? Yeah, bao shi chi. And um, Xiaomi is the company, you know, millet that makes this uh, <laughs> this ridiculous copy of a Porsche. In my opinion, it's a Porsche dirty thief knockoff where they just basically took a design and uh, you know copied it. So anyway, um, we've got a lot of updates. I know we speak about this every week, but that's because it's just come out. Yeah, it's hot um, news. First I'll of all, what's happening in China? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, first of all, the key fob, a lot of uh, imagination there. <laughs> they uh, copied Porsche's one. By the way, the Porsche key fob looks dumb. I've just got to say. Like a little car. What are you, little boy, going to play on the table in the restaurant? Yeah, here's my little Porsche. That's very yeah. dumb. I don't like that at all. Isn't it stupid? I, really don't I like mean, that. yeah, I, I'm a fan of Porsche. I think they're great cars. Sure, great But quality. I think that's kind of dumb. Yeah, but, that's, um, that's very childish. But the, the, the rice Porsche, or Porsche rice, copied that too to make the a little car. Rice. Porsche rice, yeah. Um, now, we got to talk about what's been going on because, of course, it was just released. And so. Uh, things are starting to come out about this. I'm going to show you this clip first. Look at Xiaomi Su7 Max, I think we can, we can all agree that's a pretty severe collision. Yeah. All right. One thing, the airbags didn't deploy. So as you can see from this internet comment, they were like, uh, why? Kept yeah. why is the airbag not deployed? And the can person... anyone kindly explain <laughs> it to <laughs> yes, him? Exactly. <laughs> um, and the person said the central control screen displays airbag failure. Oh, so, okay. you know, the because, uh, you know, it's like a Tesla that's sure. got a big sort of iPad in the middle. Mm -hmm. And on that big iPad, it said, oh, airbag failure oh. after the accident. Can we see that in the video? Uh, no, you can't. Oh, okay. But you can see in the video that the airbags have not deployed. You can right. clearly see. No, 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 I was just yeah. wondering what that comment was. So imagine having an impact of this magnitude and the airbags didn't deploy. Yeah, that's, that's a massive safety failure, okay? Yeah. That's something that should be a massive red flag. Right? That's one thing. It's not the only one, by the way. There was another one where the airbags didn't deploy either. Mm. Where it was hit by behind, from behind, but I didn't have video of that. I just, it was in the comments. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at this one. Okay, so what happened with this guy? By, by the way, you know what the models are called for these things? You get the standard version. You get the, it's called the SU7, right? You get SU7 Pro, and then you get the SU7 Max. Ah, the, is there a Pro Max yet? Yeah, well, Give I mean, some time. I, uh, some time. anyone who knows anything about cell phones knows that Apple has the, the iPhone Pro. Pro Max, which is the big one. They got the iPhone Pro, and then they get the iPhone Pro Max. Yikes. So, I mean, they even knocked off the naming convention here. Anyway, let's take a look. Um, this guy bought his one brand new in the morning, and by the afternoon, it had an error on the screen. Can't start, can't drive, just stopped in the middle of nowhere, and uh, he had to get it towed back to the um, dealership. Yikes. That's not what you want. Yeah,是Nivi.看看能不能解决这个问题。because the Taycan's an EV, the one that... The, oh, yeah, yeah. That's you know, right. the, the inspiration. The inspiration. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now, uh, they did some brake testing of this, by the way. On a Chinese TV show? Yeah, so this is Honest. This is the Chinese... Uh, it's a Chinese, like, automotive show. Okay. They did some brake testing. Oh, 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 that didn't work out, did it? Oh, because it's supposed to auto brake. Right? Not only, yeah, I think they they were getting the drivers to actually brake, oh, okay. but it also has an auto brake function. Yeah, maybe they weren't testing it there, but yeah. this is a second one, by the way. It's not the same. Yeah, that I think it's yeah, it started and they drove up to a speed of 120, and then they have a designated place where they start yeah, braking. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Okay. Oh. What's this? Wow. This is a Tesla Model 3. 
<laughs> Which is not the pinnacle of cars. No, it's not. But if you listen to the commentary, the Tesla Model 3 went up to 130 before it started breaking. So it went even faster and then started breaking. So yeah, Tesla Model 3 wiped the floor with it, you know, so it doesn't break very well, okay? What else we got with this wonderful, um, amazing, dirty thief knockoff thing? So, um, with this woman, the charger got stuck in the car and wouldn't release. Yikes. So it's uh, got a problem releasing the charger. You know, it's these little little issues which are actually not little issues. They're big issues. Yeah. Because now you're stuck. What do you do? So the Chinese internet's in an uproar over this thing. Yeah, of course. Because they, they were so hyped about it, right? There were a huge amount of orders placed when it mm. first launched because everyone is like, oh, look, I can buy a Porsche, you know, but it's very cheap. Right. And I can support our country and all that by... Also, it's you know, the, the Xiaomi brand is recognizable yeah, in China as, like exactly. a, as a good phone brand for affordable phones, right? Yeah. And so uh, a lot of people ordered, but since these things have been coming out... Tons of people have canceled their orders. But they've been very deceptive because if you put down an order for 20,000, you had to put down a 20,000 RMB deposit, um, you can't get the deposit back. Mm. So now what people are doing is they're selling their pre orders oh. at discounted prices <clears throat> to get recoup. Yeah, to recoup right. something. So, you know, they, gotcha. they pay 20,000 and they're Dang. trying to sell it for like 5,000 or whatever. Just That's to a get problem, rid of it. honestly. In China, there's so. There's so little consumer protection, there's yeah. so little anything protection, right? You got to be really careful. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't stop there. Yeah, she's very nervous. Take a look at the quality of it as well. You know, you can just push it in like that. Yeah. It's awkward. Yeah. Yeah, yeah embarrassed, right? Um, <laughs> remember last time we showed a little boy got his hand caught? Yes. This time, um, this, <laughs> this time. Uh, a, a dude and a and a, a woman got their hands caught in the trunk at the same time. Yeah, look. That is a, it's got a good latch. <laughs> you know what I mean, doesn't it? Yeah. It's got a robust latch. Yep. Yeah, water show hides at My hand, my hand's still stuck inside. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so I mean, yeah, people are going <laughs> railing against I, this. I thing. don't know why people are trying to put their fingers in I, the it's trunk. It's a copycat thing. Because listen, <laughs> yeah, you'll see that you're supposed to be able to. Yeah. Then you'll see evidence online that there's, you know, that's that's not because the case. last like, time we showed that kid got yeah, his hand like hands, really like, hurt. But then they're like, certainly they fixed it. Yeah. And then you go, oh man, it's or like maybe, don't push yeah. the red button. Yeah. Maybe it's like, oh, it was a kid, so his hand was small. Yes. I'll try my adult hand. Can I be honest with you? What? I'd put my hand. You in put there. your hand in I there. Would. Well, this guy, <laughs> this guy's smarter than you because he devised another way to test okay, it. Okay. Okay. He took chicken feed. Uh, yep. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> so, yeah, he actually took some chicken. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather take chicken feed than put my own hand in there. And it just proves that it has no detection of whether there's something there or not. Yeah. Um, and we've seen ample, you know, ample footage to show us. Now, this guy. Um, just bought his thing and, you know, he's had it for a day. Yeah. So, you know, it was fine, but then suddenly it would lock and then he couldn't unlock it. Mm. So he couldn't open the doors. Um, and then he said it's kind of intermittent and mm. now it's just happening again and again where it's he's locked out of the car, he can't unlock the door or he's in the car and it locks and he can't unlock the door. This is bad stuff. Okay, this is very basic, you know, this is a brand new car. He's mm -hmm. had it for a day. And to have a door that locks you out is a very big failure. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you get your hand jammed in the trunk, you know, then you're you locked out. 
I mean, it's not bad, that color. You don't like it? Gold? I think it's... It's kind of like... Yeah, I suppose. He's going to go fix it in Yeah. Yeah. This dude must be rich. Wow, that license plate. Yeah, to get a license plate with four sixes like that, that's going to cost you... A... I wonder if it's cheaper if you get an EV one, because it'll be the same. You could have the same number on an EV plate. Maybe. I'm just wondering. Maybe not. Yeah, I feel like you still have to pay uh, up the wazoo to get a license yeah. plate like that. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, he's getting locked out of his car. It looks nice, you know, but it's lipstick on a pig. Yeah. And it only looks nice because it's copied the Porsche, in my true opinion. Let's see what's next. <laughs> so, this is the GPS inside. And as you can see, it's not working quite right. Um, it's supposed to be on the highway, but it's like got him on some weird side roads. <laughs> you know, he's trying his best. You know best. what the issue with that is? What? You throw a lost generation person in there, Oof. bro, they'll be driving off the road. Yeah, Into right. like lakes and stuff. Exactly. I mean, look, it's put, put him in like the middle of a park or something. Because they'll follow that though. <laughs> yes, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. Honestly, I have seen this with Chinese GPS across the board yeah. so many times. We know China's got its own version of GPS yeah. called Beidao or whatever, yeah. and it's Probably using that, and it's not very good. Beidou, yeah. yeah. It's, it's Beidou, it's sorry. Beidou, yeah. Uh, by the way, he's listening to One Direction. <laughs> 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 Just thought I'd point that out. <laughs> That's the most important thing in yeah, this video, yeah. is that bros listen to One Direct Direction, and there's no kids in the car. No. <laughs> <laughs> he's listening to One, Di One Direction you going in the wrong direction. Like nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, maybe One Direction is giving him the wrong direction. Ah, yeah. You should be following One Direction, yeah. not the one on the screen. Well, there's two directions because <laughs> there's the saying. one he's on, and then That's yeah, exactly. Saying. Yeah. You should probably get his phone up there. Yeah. So. yeah, I'd say. Yeah, look at that nonsense, right? I have had my Chinese phones throw me off like that. Yeah. I thankfully I don't follow. Them yeah. directly i'll think oh that's probably not the way to go yeah exactly so i think we can kind of um agree that it's a bit of a disaster the uh rice porsche or porsche yeah. rice and remember that's what chinese people are calling it and yeah. since the release day they've been calling it the balshami yeah because everybody recognizes that it sure. looks like the porsche and they're right. just like oh it's the it's the xiaomi porsche basically yeah. so porsche rice um don't buy one and also don't, this is the problem. People get um, tricked into thinking that these Chinese EVs are really nice because they look all slick and swish, right? Mm. They're not bringing anything to the table. They're reusing designs and reusing, you know, the platforms that exist already. And then just making shortcuts and stuff to bring them out at a low cost. And you get what you pay for, you know? And uh, this is just proof. And we're seeing it day in and day out. Um, you know, this thing keeps failing. Uh, every day I see something new, how they're crashing or how the brakes I'm sorry, are I can say that about all Chinese EVs. Yeah. Not to paint like everything with the same brush, but that's true. Like there, yeah. there, there's been so many issues with Chinese EV quality. Yeah. Across the board. Absolutely. It's annoying. And it's, for me, it's annoying how many people were swooning over this particular car when it came sure. out just because it looks like a Porsche. Yeah. Because it's like every every man's fantasy to own a Porsche and not have to spend the money to actually sure. own it. That kind of makes it not special though, doesn't it? Yeah, oh, for sure. It's just like Land Wind, you know, when that came out and yeah. stuff. Like, people wanted a Land Rover, but they wanted to pay a tenth of the price. Sure. Right? Or whatever. But then you it just was. get a piece of junk. Of price. That was a piece of junk. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. No. <laughs> I think you no need to come to company again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think you don't need to come to company again. Two plus two equals five. <laughs> the way he says that. Yeah. In love with another woman. <laughs> I'm watching video. What's up? Could you make me a cheese pizza, please? Yeah. I'll make you the best one ever. <laughs> just open your eyes. <laughs> I love that. I'm just a homeless man hanging around this neighborhood. <laughs> That's my favorite quote. Yes. Yeah, No more 
singing. Mm -hmm. When I take your breath, you fill up my life. 